shit. Uh, okay. Boys and girls, men and women and children of all ages. It is I, the jack of all trades of the foul mouth Comet Urban. And you guys are probably thinking, whoa, holy fuck. There's a lot of shit going on. Yes, there is a lot going on. And I'm going to explain to you everything I've done since you guys seen part two of the build of the Academy 1400 scale premium edition RMS Titanic. And I'm also going to be, and I'm, and I'm also going to tell you what I did, and I'm also going to tell you the reason why I'm really, really pissed off. So, before I get to the point where I'm super pissed off and basically asking for help, um, I, uh, I want to, before I begin, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers for joining the Commodore's crew, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, and before, and also another thing, um, this is the official glue of the build. If we can get the focus, hmm, may not focus, but it's, uh, super glue. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's super glue. It's cheap stuff. You get two of these for a dollar at Dollar Tree. This is what I use to put all my models together with. So, okay. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You're seeing here the boat deck. You're probably thinking, oh, okay. Well, I have been cutting into it. And you're probably thinking, whoa, this thing is butchered. Yes, it is butchered. And the reason why it's butchered it is because if you was to, eh, fuck, if you was to look at the instruction manual, it even states for the LED unit assembly, you have to cut out these areas of the deck here, 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 and here. You have to cut out this area here, cut these off and these off A deck, and cut this little area off of the B deck. Two do this and also for the lights from here on a deck they shine up to all the deck housing and shit on the boat deck so that's what I did took a chunk of that out by accident but I don't think it's gonna matter so yeah that was a bit of a bitch doing this this one deck alone took me over an hour to get it cut and also these things they weren't like that originally they're completely covered over like half circle but on the real Titanic they weren't like that they were like this so I cut the tops off and sanded them off and now they are exactly where they should be and of course I didn't do nothing to this the only light coming through this will be through the grand staircase of course nothing will be coming through that that is the housing for the third funnel of course nothing on this well I had to take off the stairs and shit. I did cut this out though. For the light to shine through that deck housing below the fourth funnel. But don't worry. No light will be getting through. And of course I also opened up the area of the stern. And that's another thing I want to talk about. I did several things to these pieces. For starters. Yes, there's a big-ass hole there. Hello, motherfuckers. Right there. That was a bitch. And I already went ahead and added the white stripping around the stern and the bow. I still need to get a little drill, a little pin drill, drill those out so that the light will go through those once I get it done. Something I actually did look into. There was portholes. I put two little wind, two little hole, two little windows there. They were on the real ship, and two here. There was actually was an opening here and here, and here and here. But I want to do a little sneaky thing to make it look like there's an opening there, and there was an opening here and here. I want to do a little sneaky thing to make that look like it's there, but not. And I also got to add some portholes around the stern. 
because it didn't stop off like that. There really was porthole around it, just like on the model up there. So there we have that shit. Um, oh yeah, I also drilled a bunch of little holes in the top of this because there's light to go through that to the other deck piece that goes up there. And I've been studying these shit again. Because I gotta get that little pin drill and finish drilling the little pore holes on the superstructure of the ship. So, uh, yeah, you can see a lot of this has been cut out. It's because I've been working on the base as well. And I also decided to cut this little gold Titanic out. Everybody's been talking about it, so there it is. Pretty nice little thing, really shiny. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking about painting in this area here and painting the letters. And probably just set it up like that. I don't know what to do with it. But a lot of people liked it, so I figured I'd talk about it, show you guys. So, it just sits like that. So, there we have it. Okay. Went ahead and painted the anchors black, like they should be. Not this awful gold shit. Next thing I will be painting will be the propellers. And I'm going to be detailing up this placard to go onto the base. So, detailing that up, making it look nice. And now, finally, before we get to all that shit I've been doing down there, I want to show you. I've been looking at the photo etch and figuring out, actually looking at it with my hands and stuff, and thinking, shit, I'm definitely going to have to invest. I'm going to have to invest in a photo etch bender and some other tools to be able to do this properly. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. This has been what I've been using to cut holes and shit with. Yes, I've been using toenail clippers. My X-Acto knife. My little drill. And sanders so high grade quality low tech equipment so now here we are the base oh yeah did I did I forget to mention I also went ahead and put the LED lights on the decks and that's gonna lead that's gonna lead to another thing I want to talk about here and there's LED, more LED shit. Okay, I went ahead and started putting the base together, as you can see. The hull on it. Because, well... Because, well... Because of the help... Help of this... And wallering it out with this... I was able to make the holes what I need to fit on the stumps but don't worry this is not glued yet see it comes apart yeah fuck it cause I gotta run wire and shit up through there speaking about wiring that's something I do not fucking like about this I have literally followed the fucking instructions to a T on the wiring because I was putting all the wiring together earlier to uh, assess how it goes so as you can see um, right here there's your battery your battery your battery box okay right there and here's your battery connect okay and there's this um, bridge connect that's this little motherfucker right here. And it says to wrap the wire around the button. Okay. I did that. It's all done. Okay. And then I had this motherfucker hooked up to that motherfucker. And had it running out to the top of this motherfucker. And then following the fucking schematic... I actually hooked up the lights 
like they're supposed to be. Like the lights in the hull and that. I got a thing of fresh batteries, shoved them in there, and tried to touch that button. I guess is what you're supposed to do, touch it. Nothing. The lights didn't fucking come on or nothing. So I checked the diagram again. I was doing this for about an hour. Checking over all the wires, making sure I did everything correct. Exactly like it fucking falls here and here. And I still could not get this shit to work. I'm thinking, what in the fuck am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong here? Because I, I literally was going like this. I was tracing all the wires. And I was tracing this. And Because right here it says... After threading the bridge wire through the opening on the power button, use part J15. And it shows the button being flush on the damn base. And the base is right here and the button's right here. Is it fucking up because I painted the base? Was I not was I supposed to paint the base? Because I painted it. I painted the base before I did all this shit. So you can tell, see? Glossy. Not. Shiny. Not shiny. I don't know. It's literally just driving me fucking insane. If there's anyone out there that has got this model and has put it together and has got this sh fucking shit to work, tell me what I'm not doing wrong. Because I must be doing something fucking wrong. Because I got the lights in the hall. I got those in set up. I hooked them up to the bridge connect. Because it says even right here, the two lines of the hall here. And an A deck and B deck. And I hooked it up to this motherfucker. Had that motherfucker hooked up to that. And then that fucker hooked up to there. And had batteries in it. Fucking would do shit. So yeah. Fucking a hundred and almost a two hundred dollar some on model. Supposed to have fucking lights in it. Not working. I am absolutely fucking pissed off. So yeah. There you have it guys, that's what I've been up to. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below for me and I'll get back with you. And if anybody has worked on one of these motherfuckers and has got the damn lights to work, please, please help me. I need help. So yeah, this is Comma Durbin. Seeing us moose seed and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. And God bless. Until next time, uh, take care.